six months. Six months, Joe. Six long months since what the All-Stars did, what they took, what meant so much to me. My Mid-Atlantic Television title. The title I can't get back. I knew what I got myself into. I wasn't on a straight mind. My mind wasn't right at that point in time. But the bad thing for you guys is I've sat back. I've collected my thoughts. The metamorphosis of Eric Royal has happened. And you, jackasses, have caused that metamorphosis. And then come to find out, not only was my partner Chiva, not only was he out on the shelf for two months, but Ty Dillinger, you did something so heinous, something so unforgivable. You ran my partner off the road? You've done nothing more but piss me off even more. And come June 18th, absolute justice. Luckily, we found a partner in the Kamikaze Kid, someone that hates you guys just as much as I do. And come June 18th, we've all put something on the line. Kazi's put his mask on the line. McAllister, you've put your body hair on the line. Ty, you put Coach Gemini's life on the line pretty much and I Eric Royal the bomb.com Tony the Tiger the mighty Royal have put my CWF career on the line if I get pinned I gotta pack my bags and I gotta go back to Southern California you call this match the everything to lose match well, I'm going out there June 18th with nothing to lose. Because, Ty, once your shoulders get pinned to the mat, Joe Black here finally gets his five minutes with Coach Gemini. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready because we're going to blow the roof off of the Sportatorium. Joe Black been waiting for the past eight months to get his hands on you, Coach Jim and I. And after I beat Ty Dillinger and Michael McAllister down to a bloody, lifeless carcass, Joe Black, tell him what you're going to do to Coach Jim and I. Well, brother, there's no poetry involved. It's no pretty fanciful words. It's no Crows, it's no, it's no pretty literature. What I'm going to do to you, Gemini, is very simple, concise, and to the point. I'm not coming that ring with you, Gemini. I'm not, I'm not getting in the ring. I'm stepping into my own insecurity. And I don't see you as an opponent. Oh, no, no, no. I see you as that omnipresent obstacle that for eight months has kept me in the same damn place unable to move you've been my onus you've been that yoke you've been that barrier and i couldn't no matter how strong i got no matter how much time i put in the gym no matter how much i study i couldn't get past that barrier so you're not stepping in the ring with the former referee you're stepping in the ring with the man who has lost everything. The nothing or everything to lose match. Somebody will lose everything. Some people will lose nothing. I've lost it all. So Gemini, you're not getting in the ring with Joe Black. You're getting in the ring with a deranged pit bull who hasn't eaten in months off the leash. You aren't an opponent. You aren't a foe. You aren't an enemy. You're just food. Eight months. Eight months I had to endure this agony, feeling like a failure, 
going through extreme lengths just to prove to those people that I'm not as weak as the All-Stars made me out to be. Gemini, you took former best friends, you took former trainers and you turned them against me. You blame all of Fatback's pitfalls on me. You saying the reason for everything that's happened is because I was biased. It's all my fault. That's fine. I like to think it is my fault. I like to go to sleep at night and I like to have nightmares about my friends being tortured because of a dumb decision I made. Because you see, all it does is make me a little bit more angrier. See, when I get in that ring June 18th, I lose all morals. I lose all ethics. I lose my religion. I lose everything. I forfeit my soul. I've been on a two week fast. I've been repenting and confessing for two weeks for a sin I haven't yet committed. The Gemini, when I get my hands on you, I don't care. I don't care about one, two, three. I don't care about, I don't care about a win in the book. I don't care about a loss. It's not as trite as winning and losing. I want to end you. I want to end everything about you. I want to cease the breath in your lungs. I want to take your soul in my hands and rend it together the same way you did my hopes and my dreams. There will be no mercy, Gemini. There will be no respite. There will be no reprieve. There will be no mercy. I am not God. So, maybe you should go to confession like I did and maybe you should get right with your maker because when I get in that ring with you I swear one thing and one thing only you're getting in a ring with a man who was for eight months languished you're looking at a man who just had a near brush with death you're looking at a man who is no longer caring about losing I see the bigger picture when I put my hands around your neck that would be my absolution. That would be my validation. I don't care if I never step in that ring again after that. If I can finally put you down like the old dog that you are, so be it. The black cloud returns and there's no stopping me.